Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset your Dell Windows 10 computer back to factory or default settings. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial for you guys today. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu here. And you want to type in settings. Best match should say settings right above trusted Microsoft Store app. You want to left click on that one time. And now you want to go down to get to the update and security tile, Windows Update Recovery Backup. Left click on that. And now you want to go down on the left side here until you get to recovery and left click on that option. On the right side, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstalls Windows. Left click on get started here. So you will get a dialog window that says choose an option. You can either keep your files which will remove apps and settings but keeps your personal files or remove everything which will remove all your personal files, apps and settings. Even if you select the first option I would still highly recommend creating a backup onto an external USB flash drive, CD, DVD, etc. But we're going to just select remove everything for the purpose of this video and whatever selection you make will affect the selections from here on out. So you can see it's going to ask you want to clean the drives too. So if you select the second option, so like if you were going to donate your computer, this might take a few hours to run versus the first one, which may take an hour or less. Again, a lot of this is dependent on the hardware you're running Windows with, but I'm going to select just remove my files here. It should say this won't take long, and then it's going to say resetting will remove all personal files and user accounts on this PC all apps and programs and any changes made to settings and this will take a while again depends on your computer specifications but I'm gonna left click on reset here this will take some time to run so please be patient
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select Not Now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay, so guys, our computer has restarted. It looks like everything is good. So at this point, I would recommend reinstalling any applications you might have had to uninstall in that process. And you should be pretty much good to go from here. Would recommend, again, creating a system restore point if you don't already have some, just to have some backups on your computer just for the future to hopefully alleviate issues you might have down the road. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.